Dallas, Texas, all the way up here in beautiful Brooklyn, New York. We were in the studios called Brooklyn Recording. And behind me, all around me, is a ton of vintage gear. I think I just saw the microphone that they used for Ellis Island, maybe, <laughs> or King's Speech. Today, the goal of our recording is to knock out four to six songs and really hone in the foundation of the songs. If I can get my, my lyrics and singing, great. If not, we can do that back in Dallas. Uh, but today, we got Bobby Sparks on the keys and on the bass mini moon, Keith, Keith Anderson on the saxophone, uh, Steve Jordan on the drums, and myself, Ray Johnston, on the acoustic guitar and singing. And today, this is just one of the coolest things about being a musician. Man, we're in one of the most random rooms all in, all in Brooklyn, but just vintage stuff all around us. As I kind of walk around here, you can see it. Guitars from, I don't know, the 20s, 30s, 40s. And uh, we're walking here into the studio. And Andy Todd is the owner here. Luckily, they had a day open, so we were able to get, get in and get this session day done. Uh, a lot of people ask me how we record. Uh, the way I like to record um, is the closest way to how you see us play on the live stage. So, actu actually, what you're hearing on our studio records is pretty close to a live recording. We, what we will do is they'll put me in a separate room with my acoustic guitar and a vocal. They'll put Bobby and Steve Jordan in the same room for drums and the B3 organ and the mini moog and the clavinet. And they'll put Keith in a separate room. But we'll all start at the same time. And usually what happens is we go over the form of this song real quick and then we play it. And then if it's a winner, we go back and listen to it and say let's move on. More often times than not, we have a little adjusting after the first time and usually we get it on the second take. I think the highlight of the day though, I gotta mention this. The highlight of the day is when um, we're recording the song called Mucho Gusto which is a song that I wrote when I was in Argentina. So it has some, some salsa slash tango feel to it, a, def a definite Latin, Latin kind of vibe. And rather than doing it exactly Latin, Steve Jordan made, had great advice. He said, Ray, how about I lay down just a real solid drum track, just kind of my groove, however I feel it, and then let's get Bashiri to come in and lay down congas. Fortunately, Bashiri came in today when we were setting up to pick up his congas. But well, we called him two hours later, and he was able to come, and he set up his congas with Ben and with Andy, and we knocked out the song. He was here for, I don't know, 30 minutes and left. And then after we ended, the song kind of took a, a flavor of its own towards the end. Uh, it, often I, I just, I'm trying to listen to my band, and sometimes Bobby and the drummer see a jam coming that, that I don't, and I saw one coming, so I just let the track keep going. So they jammed for about three, four minutes and kind of into kind of a new song, and then they, I call it hit it and quit it, like a James Brown deal. They did da 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 And everybody hit it on the, on the note, and then you, you can hear Steve Jordan in the background, like, oh, ho, ho, yeah, Bashiri. You can hear me say MVPB. You can hear Keith from his boot going, that was killing, and Bobby's laughing. That's when you know you, you got an awesome, awesome song. <laughs> Check. <laughs>